Hello everyone. Welcome to the third session of the Hybris tutorial. In this session, we will learn the basic concepts of the storefront, how our storefront looks alike, what are key features of this storefront. So we will be navigating all these things in our current session. So for that, firstly, you need to bring your server up. So if you have not bring your server up or if you have not uh, install your B2C accelerator. You can follow my second session on the Hybris. The, the link of this session is given in the video description. So you can check from that as well. So for now, I have already make my server up. So I am directly opening this storefront. So as you can see in this storefront, so this is a B2C accelerator. So in this storefront, we do have multiple catalogs. So for example, this is the accessory. This is a catalog. And inside this, we do have multiple category like men is a category and then women is a category. So inside each category, we do have subcategory like women in the women category. We do have a bag subcategory. So if I click on the bag subcategory, let's wait for it to load. So it is getting loaded and it will take some time. So let's wait for that. So you can see the woman bag category has been loaded. And you can see there are the seven products which are there in the woman bag category. So now if we click on one of the products so like this is one of the product so if i click on this product so the next page will get opened you can see this page has been opened and this page is called as pdp page product descriptive page and this in this pdp page we do have product details product price and everything so if i click on the add to bag button so I am just clicking on the add to bag button. So you will see the uh, cart will uh, item will add it to the cart. So if I click on the checkout button, so you will see it will redirect us to the checkout page. So currently uh, we are on the cart page. And if in case you want to apply any coupon, you can apply this coupon here and uh, for that you need to create promotions and we will create a separate video for you how to create a promotion in our upcoming videos so i will be simply clicking on checkout button here so once i click on the checkout button it is asking me to the login page so this is also one of the important pages in the hybrid the login page if you are an existing customer you just need to enter your email address and password but if you are new to this website you just need to uh, input your uh, email so i will be just inputting my email uh, this is my email say and if i just confirm my email and then if i do checkout guest so in uh, e-commerce website we generally have two type of checkout one is the guest checkout where you just have to enter your email address second one is the registered customer checkout where you just where firstly you have to do the complete registration you have to enter your details like address and then you will navigate to the checkout page so if you are navigating to checkout page as a registered customer automatically your shipping address and everything will get populated but if you are doing the uh, guest checkout then you need to enter all these details so now i am on the checkout page so i will be just selecting country like i am selecting the country as uk it is asking me my details so i will be giving some genuine details say uh hybris and then tube channel name here I will write Hybris Tube and 
and hive is tube address two okay and the city is say i'm writing the city as new Delhi, and the postal code is say i'm writing one double two zero zero one which is of course the postal code of Gurgaon. so i'm clicking on the next button so once i click on the next button it will be asking me for a shipping method so uh, is there any error okay he's asking me for entering the title so i have added the title now i have clicked again on the next button so it has redirected me to the shipping method so i will be giving you the technical flow as well like how the how in the back end which api is getting called i will give you those details as well but this is just a functional overview how our storefront looks like and what is the flow in our storefront like firstly we choose a category and inside a category we selected a product and then we open the pdp page of that product and from the pdp page we added that item in the cart and then in the cart we uh, navigated to checkout page but in between that we had a login page where we had to either do registration or we had to do a guest checkout and we did guest checkout and now we are on this checkout page so uh, this is a shipment method how you want your shipment whether you want a sh standard delivery or a premium delivery so for now i'm just selecting the standard delivery and clicking on the next button so once i click on the next button so you will see it has landed me on the card detail page so i'm just selecting the american express card and then i will be just writing my name on the card and i will be just entering a 16 digit card number so i have added this so this is just an example so um i think that makes sense so you can see now the final page has appeared and if i click on the place order button the my order has been placed you can see uh okay i need to accept the terms and conditions so i am accepting that so once I accept the terms and conditions and I click on the place order button so in the backend there are multiple calls going on to place an order so uh, order is getting placed it will take some time let's wait for that So now you can see the order has been placed and thank you for your order and on the URL of this order you can see the order number is already there. So this is the order number I am just copying this order number. So I will show you one more thing we can check this order in our backend tool as well. So this is the back office tool. Uh, this is the backend tool which is used for the admin purpose. So don't worry about this. I will give you the complete overview of this back office in a separate video. But for now, I will just show you how this order looks like in the backend. So the password is same, NIMDA, named R. So I will open it, the back office. So it will take some time to load. So guys now you can see the back office has been loaded we will just search for the order here and when i search for the order it will give me the uh, or give me the order tab in the search box so it will take some time so now the orders has been appeared so i will just click over here and i will just search for my order otherwise the first order is already here so you can see this was the user hybrid two we gave and you can see the order number is there and date of order placement is there 
and the price of order is there so everything is there let me scroll up so you can see everything is there you can see uh, in the payment and delivery section we do have details about the user order number and how this user paid this using an MX card and everything payment address and everything is here and we do have multiple fulfillment processes as well which I will be discussing uh, in detail later on but for now I will just show you how that fulfillment process looks like so if I just search so these are the fulfillment processes running with this order so you can see multiple actions are being run so don't worry about these terminologies I will uh, explain these terminologies in detail in our next session so these are the actions which are currently running and once the order is placed automatically an email is also sent to the user so uh, you must have noticed when you place an order on an e-commerce website so you get get an email for the order confirmation so this is how that email is uh, dispatched to you there is a business process that runs in the back end and that business process automatically sends the order confirmation email to you so I think now you can relate this video with your real-time world as well so guys this is all about uh, uh, a B2C accelerator storefront navigation so in this next video I will tell you uh, something about the our HSC so this is again a back office cockpit tool uh, I will tell you how to write an impex uh, in our next session uh, so till then stay tuned to our videos stay stick to our videos and thank you for your time if you liked our videos please share it with your friends as well and thank you so much bye